Drivers, start your engines! Hello everybody, this is Cookie RX2 and this is the fifth qualifying race at Texas for the Ally 400. So uh, here's your starting lineup. We got uh, Aaron Abel as the poster and with him is Cara Bell. Row 2 we got Christopher Abel and Daria Tan. Row 3 we got Joseph Tippetzal and PJ Philidel. And finally on row 4 we got Foster Anderson and Jack Hubleton. Now we're supposed to use the uh, FSC version of Texas, but Unfortunately, that track made the game crash with my uh, Chips Ahoy Cup Series car set, so yeah, you'll be seeing the classic te Texas race for the Triple Header Week. And this also, so yeah. This is some old Texas racing that we're going to be watching for this week. But anyway, the pace car is getting itself into the pit lane and the green flag has been waving for the fifth qualifying race at Texas. We're starting things off with Aaron as Aaron as the leader. Christopher A bought second in the 16. And we got the last row drivers running for third and fourth and Foster. Foster is currently at a good spot at third. And uh Yeah, that's how we're starting this uh, qualifying race. I don't think we have ever seen Foster at any uh, cup races before for the se second season of the Chips Light Cup Series, so maybe Texas might be a good track for him to be part of the uh, a cup race entry for the Ally 400. But anyway, Christopher was uh, trying to pass Aaron and it didn't work for the first time and maybe it'll work for the second the second time as he's trying to pass him right now. Jack is also going to pass the 36 for third. They're both side by side and... Jack is not side by side with, with, with the 36, so Jack Rubleton is gonna take third for now. Since we just uh, started this race, and Christopher. Sorry about that. <laughs> and Christopher is now the leader, the leader in the in the 16. Jack just moved to to second after passing the 55. Kara also passed the 66, but she has her teammate going side by side. And uh, yeah, the 13 is gonna take third. That's uh, Joseph, who is now part of the uh, Aquafina SRX series. Since he is 
since he was a cup champion before. Not for the Chips Away Cup Series, but but for the Colgate, the Colgate Cup Series. So, but anyway, uh, Jack came to second, and now he is hunting for the lead. And he's no longer side by side with the 16. But someone else wants to become the leader, that's the 13. As the side by side with the, for the lead. Foster Anderson back at third. And I, I, I think we currently have like two, two part time drivers that, that haven't been to an actual cup race before but now Jack has just lost about two positions and well three technically since he got passed by the 55 and uh, yeah we're seeing some uh, free whites at Texas I don't know what's anyway um Darian at second in the 96 and Aaron Abel in the 55, running for third, side by side with the 96. And uh, yeah, we already have seen three of those drivers that have, that have entered an actual cup race before. Including Christopher, since he passed the uh, 96. And now Christopher is going for second. As things were changing really quick at Texas, at Texas. Aaron has gone to the inside, but He's not really close to the 16, so he'll just be at third for now. Unless if 62 wants to uh, try to pass the 55 for third. In case. So, yeah, Aaron doesn't want that. Instead, he wants to be at second. And uh, yeah, he is now, now side by side with the 16. And there he goes. He is now at second. Christopher still to the outside, so yeah, Foster is gonna take third this time, as he is still hunting for his first. Uh, cup race for the Chipsoy Cup Series. Jack, Jack as well, but he is currently at a at a bad spot. But he is um he is getting closer to third. He just needs to uh, pass the 66 or get passed by the 96 if he can't catch up to 66 at all. Aaron Abel is catching up to the leader. They're side by side as Aaron really wants to lead. I believe he has already won a Qualifying race last last week, so I guess he wanted to uh, he wanted to win the qualifying race again. And there goes Foster for the lead in the race six. Joseph has his teammate behind. Oh no! Oh, 
Foster. That unexpectedly happened to the phrase sex. His engine has now effin smoking. And he's not gonna make it to the pit lane, is he? He is slowing down, so that's a no. Well, I guess he's out of the race, so I guess he's not gonna attempt to race for an actual cup ride, a cup race, so... That, that sucks. He was just doing good so far. He... He's gone from a leader to... Eighth, just to, uh... Get himself out of race. Yeah, that's... That unfortunately happened. And that slowed down about... Like, five drivers at, at the track, so... But they're catching up, so I wouldn't really uh, worry about the rest. And now we only gotta see two MBM, two MBM drivers that are that are gonna be battling for the lead for like a few or a couple of seconds until the rest would actually catch up to those uh, two MBM. Drivers, but uh, yeah. Carbell is now the leader. Joseph at 13th. We got about two MBM drivers that are looking forward to uh, put their names on Texas for a Saturday. And yeah, Aaron, Aaron Abel is at 3rd. Still kept on clicking the wrong buttons. Whoops. Ugh. Anyway, oh, I didn't. I didn't know that the 13 passed the 66, but apparently Joseph is the leader. So yeah, 10 laps to go to end the qualifying race at Texas. It's just between those two MBM teammates. The rest are still trying to uh, catch up to those two, but I don't know how long will they actually catch up. But pretty sure I'm pretty sure they'll they'll like catch up until like three or two laps to go. So. And uh, as as you can see, the three six is out due to a uh, piston problem. So a piston issue. Oh yeah, that's that's unfortunate for Foster. I believe we're at uh, seven laps to go to end the qualifying race before we are uh, before I upload the Ally 400 till Saturday at the main channel. So and now it's six laps to go. Those two, those two drivers buying the 13 and the 66, they're really trying to uh, catch up to those two. And Darian is gonna try to pass the 55 to get 
third. And uh, just like that, the 96 is now currently at third place. So, uh, yeah, we've now got a Teodo driver at currently, who's currently at a good spot to uh, attempt attempt to drive for the Ally 400. Well, yeah, four four laps to go as Kara as Kara has became the leader again after after passing her teammate. Three laps to go. This is really, this is really a battle between those uh, two NPM drivers, which both of them are gonna make it to the uh, cup race until Saturday. Wouldn't matter if they win or not, they just need to get first, second, or third, but they're really battling for a win, so. And Joseph is the leader again since he passed his teammate, so. And now, one lap to go, preceded by the NRLA. Let's see if Joseph can win his first qualifying race. And I don't think the rest of the. The rest of the drivers will have any time to catch up to the 96 for third place, but Joseph has won his first qualifying race at Texas. So Joseph and his teammate, they're gonna make it to the Ally 400, and so does Darian Tan. The rest will not make it to Saturday's cup race, so... Yeah, that's it for the, uh... qualifying race, and now here... here's your, uh... results. So yeah, like I said, Joseph, Kara, and Darian, they're gonna make it to the Ally 400. Those that can't with a... 4th and 4th uh, to 8th place finished uh, to those that can't make it are Christopher and Aaron Abel uh, Jack PJ and Foster with a piston problem so yeah that's uh, pretty much it for this qualifying race so the Ally 400 that's gonna happen till Saturday so and Joseph Kara and and Darian they're gonna drive for the Ally 400 with the full time driver so yeah that's it so thank you guys for watching um like I said at the beginning of the uh of this video um there's going to be a trouble header week, so that means you'll be seeing a truck race tomorrow at the main channel. So, yeah, we're going to continue on some truck and national racing at the main channel. And cup as always, so yeah, that's it. So, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace.